an electric school bus burst into flames shortly after dropping off the last student of the day. The driver of that bus barely escaped. The school bus was completely destroyed by a fire on Route 112 in Ascot Corner, Quebec. Fortunately, the bus was empty aside from the driver and there were no injuries. The bus driver noticed a smell of smoke coming from the vehicle's heating system. She immediately pulled onto the side of the road and got out of the bus before the flames spread. By the time first responders arrived, firefighters, the bus was already completely engulfed in flames. This video is sponsored by Blazestack Fire Investigation Software. Blazestack is a fully featured fire investigation case management platform that arson and fire investigators rely on to log, document, and report fire investigations. Get a free trial at blazestack.com and request a quote using the discount code STASHED. Around 15 firefighters from the East Angus Regional Fire Department responded to extinguish the fire. They followed specific protocols for electric vehicles due to the risk associated with their batteries and the toxic smoke. Preliminary investigations suggest that the fire was caused by a problem with the school bus's heating system. If you're not familiar, in northern climates specifically, electric buses, they often use auxiliary diesel heaters to heat the cabin of the vehicle. They don't want to use battery power. This approach preserves the vehicle's range in colder conditions, but also ends up meaning you have some type of diesel fuel on board the vehicle. The fire seems to have originated in the front of the bus. The vehicle's batteries, they're actually located between the frame rails underneath the vehicle, and there's multiple battery packs underneath the bus. It goes the full length of that bus. Now, there's a few different configurations, and while the fire could have initiated from the front battery module, the high-voltage lithium-ion batteries are not believed to be part of this incident. While the batteries in this case may not have been involved, I have serious concerns about the risks associated with electric school buses. Because the batteries are housed between the frame rails underneath the bus, they can be in a vulnerable location in certain crash situations. If these batteries go into thermal runaway, the resulting blaze would be intense and would be quickly become a deep-seated fire within that bus. Consider a bus with about 40 children on board. How quickly can they be safely evacuated in the event of a fire? The design of these batteries, they may meet high standards, but no system is completely immune to failure. A severe crash, for example, a T-bone collision, that could cause severe damage to those batteries. That would easily trigger a catastrophic fire. Remember, batteries, lithium-ion batteries, especially when crushed or punctured, it makes those batteries angry. Thermal runaway would be the outcome. We've seen the outcome of a school bus getting T-boned before. This isn't something new. In this incident, you'll see the kids, the way they're violently thrown around the inside of this bus. After a hit like that, those kids aren't going to be moving all that fast to evacuate. The fire from the batteries, that would be great motivation, but still, it's difficult to move after taking a hit like that. Look at the way this vehicle damaged this bus. You can see how the frame rails are deformed and everything's pushed sideways. Had that been an electric bus, the batteries would have very likely gone into thermal runaway because they would have been damaged. The chaos would have escalated quickly, leaving little time for evacuation or effective intervention by emergency responders. Lion Electric, the manufacturer of the bus that caught on fire, is currently facing a number of challenges, including a temporary halt in its operations in Juliet, Illinois. The plant, it laid off about 400 employees across the U.S. and Canada. They're used to getting a lot of government funding, but that funding is starting to slow down. And while the fire likely had little to do with the suspension of the operations, it does raise some pretty big questions. What happens if a company like this goes out of business? If Lion Electric ceases operations entirely, who will maintain their electric buses? These vehicles require specialized parts, software updates, and expertise that only a manufacturer or dedicated support network can provide. Without ongoing support, these buses will eventually become useless, leaving school districts with buses that they can't use, and it's going to force them to go back to traditional vehicles. It's also clear that school bus drivers, they should receive specialized training before being assigned to an electric bus. They need to understand the hazards batteries can pose and know how to respond in the event of thermal runaway. Drivers, they're the first line of defense when an incident occurs. Having the knowledge and confidence to act quickly can make all the difference in protecting the lives of the children on board.